Tap. 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 Tap to pause record. Frequency missing. Le Fre Frequency. Welcome to Tap to change settings. Tap to stop. Tap back off. With the home button to the right. In Frequency Missing, you can explore menus and the game world by dragging one finger across the screen to listen for objects. When you find an object you want to use, release screen your recording. Tap to Remember stop. to wear your headphones Zero correctly to set Access. it right Frequency missing. and left. Right and left. Now you will try to find an object in the game. Raise world. Hold down one Cancel. finger on the screen. Listening. Frequency missing. Hold down one Talk finger back off. on the screen. You released your finger before you had found the object. Remember to keep your finger. You re you can good. You can now hear a good. Now. Hello. Perfect. You found a person and have started a conversation. Hold down one finger on the screen and move it up and down to hear topics to choose from. Release your finger to select. Now, give it a shot. Try to talk about the weather. Dancing. Drag your finger up and down. Economy. I have no interest in that. You pick the wrong topic. Hold down one finger on the screen and move it up and down to hear topics to choose from. Release your finger to select. Now, give it a shot. Try to talk about the weather. Sports. Dancing. Sports. I have no interest in that. You pick the wrong topic. Hold down one finger on the screen and move it up and down to hear topics to choose from. Release your finger to select. Now, give it a shot. Try to talk about the weather. Dancing. I have no interest in that. You pick the wrong topic. Mm, Hold long. down one finger on the screen and move it up and down to hear topics to choose from. Release your finger to select. Okay. Now, give it a shot. Try to talk about the weather. Dancing. Sports. Economy. The weather. Econ Drag your finger. Sports. Dancing. Dr Dan Sports. Economy. I have no interest in that. You pick the wrong topic. Hold down one finger on the screen and move it up and down to hear topics to choose from. Release your finger to select. Now, give it a shot. Try to talk about the weather. Economy. The weather. The weather. The weather is great. Good. Now choose buy and let's move on. Food. Beverage. I have no interest in that. You pick the wrong topic. Hold down one finger on the screen and move it up and down to hear topics to choose from. Release your finger to select. Now, give it a shot. Try to talk about the weather. Economy. Sports. Dancing. Dancing. Econ the weather. The weather. The weather is great. Good. Now choose buy and let's move on. Bye. Travel. Bye. Bye. Good. That's it for the tutorial. Now choose new game in the menu to start the game. Um, jump can, can Main menu. Can you. Help. Drag your finger. Up. New. New game. The game autosaves so you can pick up where you left off. Oh, my head. What happened? Where am I? It's so dark. Ouch! I'm locked in! Help! Is someone there? Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. If they hear me, they might knock me out again. I hear some rattling. If I feel around, I might be able to locate where that noise is coming from. A screw! I might be able to pry it loose with my hands. There we go. Hmm, it's still locked. Maybe there are more screws. Uh, 
Another screw! <gasps> it's starting to give way. Chapter one, three days earlier. Oh my God, April 13th, 835 AM. My oh, first my day at work as a reporter for Radio IDUM. <coughs> Richard would have welcomed me and showed me around, but he disappeared three days ago. I'm really worried. Carl might know something about where he is. Carl, what is that device? It doesn't look like an ordinary tape recorder. Nope, I built it myself. I use it to edit your broadcasts. It's pretty ingenious if you ask me. Hi Carl, how's it going? Oh, hi Patricia, just fine. How are you settling in? Don't do anyway. Richard. Yeah. Goodbye. Rit new at work. It's a lot to process in a short amount of time. Yes. Something on your mind? Carl's job. I don't think I've asked you what you do around here. That's all right. I work as a fact checker and audio technician. What does a fact checker do? I check that all the facts are correct. And as an audio technician? I make sure that your segments sound good on the air. The chief. The radio, Carl's job, the radio station. Well, I got a quick tour yesterday, but maybe you can tell me more about the radio station. I don't know what to say. The building is a bit much for my taste. It was originally built as a royal library, apparently. I'm sure Monica at the reception can tell you more about the station. Uh, Monica. The chief. The chief has barely had time for me yet. What is he like? He can be a bit difficult to deal with sometimes. He wants to be one of the crew and make good broadcasts, but he also wants to make his bosses happy. Oh, he's not in charge? No. He only runs our department, even if he sometimes acts like he runs the whole station. The chief. Enough about work. Thank you. Richard. Have you read the newspaper today? N no. What's on your mind? It said the police have closed the investigation on Richard's disappearance. What? No one has seen him in three days. I know! They claim there's no indication that a crime has been committed. How can they not care about what happened? I'm sorry. I know you're good friends. Is there anything I can do? Thank you, but I don't think so. I was so happy when he got me this job and was really looking forward to working with him. Enough about Richard. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks, Carl. I'll see you later. Goodbye. The door to the lobby. I should ask Carl about Richard's disappearance before I do anything else. Carl's audio equipment. I can show you how it works later. Hi, Carl. Goodbye. Richard. New at work. Richard. About Richard. Yes? Richard's job. Richard's disappearance. R Enough about Richard. Richard's job. R Richard's disappearance. Do you know anything about Richard's disappearance? No, nothing. I was going to snoop around in his office, but someone had locked it. Do you think there's anything in there? I don't know. But he spent a lot of late nights in his office. I thought maybe he had left some notes about what he was working on. Richard's disappearance. R Richard's job. Richard's disappearance. Richard, do you know what he was working on? 
Some stories, but nothing that would explain his disappearance. You spent a lot of time together. He never told you anything? No, but I got this feeling he wanted to tell me something but couldn't. I thought it might have something to do with what he was working on. Richard's job. Enough about Richard. Rich. Enough about. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks, Carl. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Carl's audio equipment. I can show you how it works later. Yeah, I'll open it. The lobby. Oh, by the way. Oh, the radio station's good. lobby. Grandiose and awe-inspiring. You can't help but be impressed by it. Oh, no, 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 no. The door to the newsroom, where all the broadcasts are made. Hold it! We're broadcasting live. You need the chief's permission to go in there. Yeah. The radio station's receptionist. Hello, Monica. Good morning, Patricia. What can I do for you? Do you know anything about what's uh, happened to Richard? Luna. Well, not more than anyone else, I believe. The police were snooping around here a few days ago, and I and I now I'm reading that they don't think a crime has been committed. Snooping? It's good that they investigated, but they could have done it without disturbing everyone. To be honest, <laughs> we didn't get along very well. He was a very good reporter, but he didn't always think the rules applied to him. Richard's disappearance. co The radio state. Co-workers. The radio state. How many people work here? Well, we have uh, 60 employees, the biggest and best radio station in the country. Oh, yeah. Work. The office. Work. The off. Where does everyone sit? The management used the top floors, of course. They enjoy the view, you see. Down here is the newsroom. You can find some of the reporters, audio technicians, and the department chief here. Between us and the top, there are more reporters and administrators. Work. The office. Work. What is everyone doing here? Well, most of them are reporters like you. There's a lot that goes into making good broadcasts, so we also have several audio technicians and lots of administration. My job. Do you know what I'm supposed to do here? Huh. Don't you know? Yes, but the chief just told me to get acquainted with the station. I suppose you'll start with a few small stories here and there. But regardless of what you get to do, you should be proud and happy you're working for this fine radio station. My job. Enough about the station. My job. Work. My Enough about the... Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks, Monica. Don't <laughs> argue. The newsroom. Hold it. You need Chief's permission to go in. Richard's office. It's locked. Could there be a clue to his disappearance in there? The chief's office. A well-furnished office that smells of leather and cigars. A radio. He's listening to the broadcast from the newsroom. I suppose he needs to keep an ear on things. Excuse me, Chief. Do you have a minute? Yes, one minute. What do you want? Locked office. Why is Richard's office locked? The police have already investigated it. They didn't find anything. You have to understand, I don't want other people running around in there causing even more trouble. 
They must have missed something. Are you doubting the police's competence? Stop meddling with things you don't understand and go do your job. A radio. Oh, A key cabinet. Get away from there. Do you often rummage through other people's belongings? Hmm. The key to Richard's office is probably in there, but I'll never get to it as long as the chief is here. I really don't have time for you right now. Go to the newsroom. Maybe you can learn a thing or two about live broadcasting. I told you to go to the newsroom. The lobby. Richard's office. It's locked. Hello, Monica. Yes? Goodbye. Richard's disappearance. Coworkers. The radio station. Coworkers. What can you tell me about our colleagues? Who do you have in mind? Stephanie. Carl. The chief. Carl. What's Carl like? He's a fun guy that gets along with pretty much everyone at the station. Officially, he's a fact checker, but he mostly works on the audio for the broadcasts. <laughs> Enough about colleagues. Stephanie. Carl. The chief. The chief. What is the chief like? He's an orderly man that knows how to take charge. But between you and me, he can be a bit grumpy sometimes. Oof. Stephanie. Enough. Stephanie. Carl. The chief. Carl. Stephanie. Apparently Stephanie will be my mentor. What is she like? Oh, is she going to be your mentor? She's pedantic, very skillful, and a respected news anchor. But if you ask me, she can be a bit stuck up sometimes. Enough about colleagues. Stephanie. Carl. The chief. Enough about colleagues. Thank you. Richard's disappearance. Coworkers. The radio station. Rick. Goodbye. Rick. Co. The radio. The radio. How many people work here? Well, we have uh, 60 employees, the biggest and best radio station in the country. My job. Work. The office. The office. Where does everyone sit? The management used the top floors, of course. They enjoy the view, you see. Down here's the newsroom. You can find some of the reporters, audio technicians, and the department chief here. Between us and the top, there are more reporters and administrators. Work. The office. Work. What is everyone doing here? Well, most of them are reporters like you. There's a lot that goes into making good broadcasts, so we also have several audio technicians and lots of administration. My job. Do you know what I'm supposed to do here? Huh. Don't you know? Yes, but the chief just told me to get acquainted with the station. I suppose you'll start with a few small stories here and there. But regardless of what you get to do, you should be proud and happy you're working for this fine radio station. Mm. Enough about the station. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks, Monica. The chief's office. The environment. The conflict in the south is escalating. A radio. The key cabinet. I told you to go to the newsroom. The lobby. Carl's in my office. Carl's audio equipment. I can show you how it works later. 
Oh, you call it your wife. The lobby. The newsroom. Monica, the chief said I could go in. All right, just be careful oh. and don't do anything to disturb them. The newsroom. Furnishings are simple and functional. It's the heart of the station. Stephanie is in the speaker booth, doing a live broadcast. Apparently, she will be my mentor, now that Richard is gone. The conflict in the South is escalating, and mediators believe a solution is in sight, but it will require all involved parties to return to the negotiating table. Hmm, a large switch. Do I dare pull it? Yes. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Butterfingers? You just interrupted a live broadcast. I'm sorry. I lost my balance and fell on the switch. Get out. Probably not the smartest thing I've ever done, but it should keep him busy for a while. Well, The chief's office. Hmm. This key looks like it could open the door to Richard's office. I don't care whose fault it is. It's your job to make sure these things don't happen. I'm sorry, Stephanie. We're working as fast as we can. It's good of you to remind me. <clears throat> We had some temporary technical difficulties, but they're now taken care of, and we will continue with the broadcast. Oh, the broadcast is up and running again. I better get out of here. Today's news. The Prime Minister opened this year's environmental summit by addressing the The lobby. <laughs> Richard's office. I hope I brought the right key. Yeah, yes! Okay. Patricia versus Lux? Bye. One nothing. Bye. Richard's office. Okay. Let's see what you're hiding from me. Richard's noteboard. Nothing of interest there. Hold on. There's a VIP card to the Duke Silverglans Club. Oh. I didn't know he was a member there. Isn't that a bit too expensive and exclusive for him? I just noticed that the painting is a bit crooked. There's a safe hidden behind it. I doubt the police would have left it alone if they had found it. I might need some assistance opening it. A stapler, a tape roll. Paper clips, and Paper some tips. blank pages. More or less what you'd expect to find on a desk. Nothing here that tells me what happened to him. Richard's safe. I need help opening it. The lobby. Richard's office. Eh, Monday. Mm. <laughs> the lobby. Bad. Tuk nang ajay. The chief's office. No, I'm not even. I see the owner. Joel Bad. The conflict in the south is escalating, and great. A radio. Oh, okay. I'm Stephanie, your host, with today's news. The lobby. Richard's 
trình tới chỗ mà mình xin đi office. Làm xin đến chỗ mà nó Thôi được rồi, thử đi tiếp Carl's audio equipment. I can show you how it works later. I'm to a deal. A deal. And you're too high. Ah, I know. The lobby. Very good. The newsroom. The chief is sure to fire me if I go in there again. Okay. Okay. You need to a deal. Very good. I'm sure me only my dog did. Monica? Yes? Okay. Richard's disappearance. Co the radio station. The ra co worker. Goodbye. Co the radio. How many people work here? Well, we have uh, 60 employees, the biggest and best radio station in the country. Enough, thank you. Goodbye. Thanks, Monica. The chief's office. I need them to the key cabinet. The key cabinet. The key cabinet. The key Game to see your mom or no, ladies are my drive screen record 20 set standard mode driving mode Not standard mode 2705 talk back off oh, the lobby oh hey Carl's in my office. Carl! What is it? Oh. I managed to get into Richard's office. Someone had turned the place over, but unlike me, they didn't find the hidden safe. We have to open it. Nice! I have an idea. Should we go to his office? No. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Here, take this contact microphone. Place it on the safe and you might be able to hear when it unlocks. Wouldn't it be quicker if you did it? You found it, so it's only fair that you open it as well. I'll keep watch and let you know if someone's coming. Okay, Richard. Let's see what secrets you've hidden in here. So, uh, how do I do this? With the contact microphone, you should be able to hear the click from the locking mechanism. When you hear the clunk of the locking bar, you should stop and drag in the other direction. I think these kind of locks usually start to the right, so drag to the right until you hear a clunk, then switch directions. Keep doing that until the safe is open. No, I think oh. I missed. You'll have to start over and go to the right. These kind of locks probably reset if you do it wrong. Yes! Patricia versus locks. Two nothing. Oh. Now let's see what you thought was worth hiding, Richard. What did you find? A tape. I wonder what's on it. Hmm. We better listen to this in our office. <laughs> let's load the reel into my tape recorder and hear what secrets are hidden on it. What's wrong with your tape recorder? It's not my recorder, <laughs> it's the tape. I'm not entirely sure how I'll fix it. You'll have to give me a few days.
Chapter 2. April 14th. The chief has given me my first assignment. I am to interview Samuel Silverglands about the renovation and development of the Duke Silverglands Club. A lot of members are big shots. My boss among them. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I'm going to make the best story I can. I'm already on thin ice after that incident in the newsroom. Sadly, I didn't have time to do much research, but apparently Samuel Silverglans' father passed away about a month ago. Okay. Oh, wow! <laughs> now I see why the club has Duke in its name. This place looks like something you'd find in a castle with all the leather, mahogany, and paintings all over the place. The club's bartender. Hello, I'm Patricia from Radio IDUN. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? I suppose that's all right. I'm not too busy at the moment. My name's Victor. Buy drink. The club. club. So what's it like here? Do you like your job? It doesn't pay much, but the status you get from working for such a fine establishment makes it worthwhile. I thought you'd get paid well, considering the high class of this place and all. You would think so, yes. It started to unravel a bit lately. That's why they're opening a new restaurant, to make more money. That sounds like an interesting story. What more can you tell me? I've, I've said too much already. Buy drink. The club. Samuel. I'm supposed to interview Samuel, but I can't seem to find him. Do you know where he is? He might turn up soon. There's a lot of work to do before the grand opening. Samuel. The club. Buy drink. Uh, can I get a drink? What are you having? Cognac. Dry martini. Gin and tonic. A gin and tonic sounds nice. My pleasure. Ah, uh, Bing Kong. Oh. The club. Buy drink. Uh, can I get a drink? What are you having? Gin and tonic. Dry martini, gin and tonic, dry mar- Cognac. Yeah, the thing uh, me. cognac, please. My pleasure. I uh, can only carry one drink at a time. I'll leave the old one here. Hey, do you mean I'm there, eh? I'm just Goodbye. Talking. Thank you so much, Victor. Victor. Let me do some. A giant man with a stern look. It looks like he's guarding the entrance to the VIP room. Hello, my name is Patricia. Could I ask you a few questions? Yes. The club. Samuel. Goodbye. The cl- Sam- Give drink. Here you go. I bought you a drink. Thank you. Samuel. Sam- Thank you, pup. Samuel. I'm from Radio IDUN. I'm here to interview Samuel. Do you know where he is? No. Just no? Yes. Okay. The club. Samuel. The club. Do you enjoy working here at the club? Sure. Nothing else? No. The goodbye. The club. Sam. The club. Goodbye. Thanks, I think. The door to the lounge. A lounge with books, a pool table, and expensive armchairs to relax in. (coughs) A well-dressed woman playing pool. I didn't even know that kind of shot was possible. Hello, I'm Patricia. Do you have a minute? You new here? The name's Veronica. Yes, I'm here to do a story about the club. The club. Samuel. The goodbye. The club. What do you think about the club? It's good enough to play pool in. Except for that fat, obnoxious man over in the corner who smells of cognac. 
Apparently, he's some kind of hotshot around here. At least it's what he tells anyone who cares to listen. Can't they throw him out so I can play pool in peace? Yes, there's a smell coming from there, all right. Samuel. Do you know where Samuel Silverglands is? Who's that? The club's owner. Sorry, not really a part of that crowd. Goodbye. The club. Sa the Goodbye. Thank you very much. Oh, Lord, yeah.